Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cape, today we're just going to do a general reading, baby. Let's just talk about you, Capricorn. Let's see what's up, what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Let's see what the energy is around you today, or right now in your life. Let's see. Spirit guides, what up? With the Capricorn Collective, that one's out. Truth be told. Oh, dear. Okay, no place like home. No place like home is all about, um, you're going to find out some truth here. Someone's, oh, okay. This is seeing behind the mask about a situation or about somebody. It's just being really honest with yourself here. And no place like home represents, you know, home is where the heart is. No matter where you go in life, you want your heart to lead you because that always leads you home. You're always at home, right? Let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. And Cap, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. And just be... Oh, crap, the wrong card here. And just be reminded that my readings are $30 Canadian. Um, and I send them in two to four business days. We got the Hermit. Mm -hmm. We got the Six of Wands. We got the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's the Seven of Wands. What is going on here? All right. Whoa, we got the Eight of Wands. We have Justice. We have Libra energy here, Virgo energy here. All right, two more here for Cape, and we shall get into your reading. Hanged Man. Ah, Four of Wands is in reverse. Let me move these over just a little bit here. And there's a Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is, is collaboration, teamwork, hard work. Um, I'm going to grab my rider. Wait, let's clarify. We start this off with the hermit. This is an energy of pulling yourself out of a situation, pulling yourself back here, trying to, to gain enlightenment, trying to figure something out. What do you want to say about this hermit energy here for Cap of the Corn? There's clearly some kind of conflict here. But, you know, we look at the hermit, we look at the seven of wands in this deck. They're just kind of avoiding the conflict here. <laughs> they're staying the fuck out of it. There's no point in getting involved in this. Six of wands, yeah. And, and whoa, kind of swords. Oh, could have, you could be a Sagittarius involved, or you could have Sagi in your chart here. This is a, a little bit of a similar energy, actually, to my Sagi reading. Um, you're giving, you're trying not to give attention to something, but there's there's an energy of giving attention to it. So there's clearly a conflict. You could be feeling attacked. You could be feeling like you have to defend yourself, or there's just people squawking, gossiping, rumors, starting shit, trying to create drama in your life, or um, whatever that energy could be. There could be so many reasons that people act that way. I feel like with the Hermit, you're pulling yourself back, trying not to give this attention, but that doesn't mean it's easy to do because the Ten of Swords is here. But the Ten of Swords is also a realization that this is in the past. You know, the dark skies are gone, the sunny skies are coming up. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, right? So you're trying to just focus and give your attention to yourself and not give attention to this conflict, these people. I, I do feel it's multiple people. We have the Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. A lot of wands and swords here coming at you. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about a little something, something. So what do you want to say about that? What's the five of wands and the seven of wands here? Oh, well, nine of pentacles just showed its face here. The ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, letting that go, making the choice to do that. I want one more queen of wands. Definitely could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag involved, or you got fire in your chart here, Capricorn, and you're just taking control. I feel like you're just making the choice here to let it go. The ace of swords is very much this truth be told. Just being honest with yourself, being calculated, being just... Just being honest, baby, um, and letting it go. Whatever people say or do is a reflection of them. And you're just kind of trying not to give in to this drama. No drama, mama. Drama can stay the fuck away from the cafe. You know, and that's what the Two of Pentacles is. It's creating that balance in your life, creating that peace of mind, using your inner, inner wisdom. That's what this big top hat represents, your inner gnosis, your inner wisdom, your experience um, to create that peace in your life. It's like... Um, it's just staying peaceful in a chaotic energy. You can let it affect you or you don't. So there's a lot of chaos around here. But then you're just a little in your little bubble here. And you're just kind of set, settling yourself, distancing yourself and letting it go. Ace of Pentacles represents a fresh start and a new beginning. So you could be walking away from that. Or you could just be, you know, when you come to peace and come to terms with things, it kind of feels like a new beginning. It's a new you. The Nine of Pentacles is very much, again, the card of independence. Just kind of focusing on yours, keeping your head down. They can fight. They can squabble. They can squawk all they want. How that affects you is your decision. So let's see the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is moving forward. It could also be a message. What's the Eight of Wands energy here for Cap? A bit. A corn. Four cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups. There's an offer coming through. Ten of Wands stresses you out, though. There's a Nine of Pentacles. What's under that? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. You don't know if you want this. You have a decision to make, but I feel like there's action to take. There's a cup being offered to you and the cup's upside down here. So you're not so sure you want this cup. There is some kind of offer opportunity. Maybe that's what's creating this conflict in your life. 
um, and you don't know how you feel about it. You know, the Ten of Wands is stress, worries, and burdens. Um, you're really focusing with the Nine of Pentacles and what you want, um, what it is that's best for you. Some of you, I'm hearing someone wants to buy your business. I think that's very particular, but um, maybe it'll create the Nine of Pentacles and give you this and set you for life. That is not for everybody, but maybe you're conflicted about that. It's your baby. Actually, you know, it's it, if it's something that you worked hard on, now you're going to sell it to someone else, but that's business. If it sets you for life, hey, you know, and you have a choice to make. <laughs> this is that simple. That business op is not for everybody. Um, for others of you, it could be love. It could be friendship. It could be a job offer. There's a message coming in. There's an opportunity being presented and you're not so sure how you feel about it. It's creating a little bit of stress here. There's the queen of pentacles. You got to do what's best for you though here, Capricorn. So the justice energy is getting what you deserve. It's getting justice. It's upright. So that's good karma. That's principle of cause and effect. But there's that disharmony here. So something about this opportunity is creating disharmony in your life. What's the justice energy? What do you want to say about that? I feel like you're just trying to stay. Yeah, the magician. The tower. Tower and the four of wands. You could be moving here. There's a seven of wands. There's you feeling like, um, well, you're determined to do what you want to do. But again, I just get this feeling that not everybody is in your corner here. They don't, you know, this offer to this opportunity comes with, um, well, conflict um and you're trying to make the best decision for yourself i feel like you're trying to stay balanced and centered within you um and make the best decision for you um it's going to be a big decision it's a big change in your life the tower is here and the magician is here which is being using your tools your resources it's a card of being gifted of having god-given gifts but using them so and especially with that three of pentacles it's like getting the recognition you deserve your gifts your talents your hard work your skills are being paid off i do feel for a lot of you this is not love this does represent something in your career um and you're being, you're, you get, they better recognize Capricorn, your hard work determination is paying off, but it's creating some disharmony here. Why, what, what is the four of wands energy? What do you want to say about that? <laughs> well, yeah, there's the lovers and there's a seven of swords. Yeah. It's an energy of kind of moving in silence, making the best moves for you because you can't please everybody in life. Uh, the lovers is a decision to make. I feel like you're really trying to keep this peace inside yourself and not let these people affect your decision here, Cappy. Um, but the lovers is, are you going to do what's best for you? Or are you going to do what's best for everybody else? Because home is where the heart is, no matter where you go in life. And they're really telling you here to follow your heart and be truthful and be honest about these people, their opinions, what they're saying. Because ultimately you put your shoes on, you put your socks on, you walk in your boots. They don't do it for you. But there is an element to being stuck. There could be some kind of sacrifice that you have to make. What else do you want to say about the hangman energy here? And if there is a sacrifice you have to make, make sure it's a sacrifice you can make, right? Some definitely can involve a fire. Whoa, we got two people here. Look at these two people. This King of Wands looking at this King of Swords. Whoa, we're looking at this Hierophant. We got three masculine energies just kind of sitting here. There's the Page of Cups looking at the offer. <laughs> um, could, so with the Hierophant, I do feel, you know, you could be a spiritual leader, a uh, spiritual healer. Or it's something with a big institution, right? The government um, can, well, the Hierophant can represent a government job or something with a big institution, a big company. There's two people here. What are you trying to say about that? Being realistic? High Priestess. Yeah, knowing the High Priestess and the King of Swords is knowing when to and when not to speak. Um, we had that Seven of Swords. So I kind of feel like there's a really strong energy of keeping things to yourself here. Um, not letting everybody know what your plans are. Um, because someone might try to change your mind. That's what I feel. They're trying to change your mind here and trying to to um, stop you from doing something you want to do. And, you know, we have to also realize not everybody is coming from a bad place, but what I'm guided to say is some people just come from their own perspective. Like, let's say, I don't know, let's say it's your parents and they don't like what you're going to school for. Well, you got to do what you got to do, right? Your parents are going to think that they know what's best for you, but you know what's best for you. That's what I feel this energy is. I feel like the King of Wands might be somebody else. There could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, a masculine energy here just looking at you, but you're being honest. You're being truthful. You know, he's got his sword up. He's planning. He is doing what's best for him. The King of Swords doesn't really care what people think about him. He doesn't give it two shits. He's going to do what he does and what's best for him. This might be unexpected because the Page of Cups represents that. A very unexpected opportunity, unexpected offer. You could have caught some people in your life off guard. Or you could be caught off guard with this offer that's being presented. Uh, with that, no place like home, I do feel some of you, it's a movement energy. But not for everybody. It could just be the movement of switching a job. Or even switching careers. Oh, the king of wands just flew upside down so some people feel like it's out of their control but they could also be the king of wands in reverse as a reactionary energy usually out of jealousy or envy or something that's out of their control um i want one more card yeah wheel of fortune but capricorn this is your destiny 
this is going to bring in stability the happiness that you deserve with that wheel of fortune there so damn hold, follow your heart here cat that's the whole point of the reading don't let other people influence the decision you are making you've got to make this decision for yourself and if they're in your corner in the long run they'll understand the choice that you're making here but i feel like you have a tough choice we started with the hermit uh, you know a withdrawal contemplation we end it with the hangman withdraw comp contemplation so let's grab some oracles we'll see what they want to say and we'll see where you are in a month i can't remember if i said the date but it is october 24th 2023 today uh so i can't remember if i said it or not i got, got, got caught up in the reading let's see what else is going on here what do you surrender yeah look at it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Yeah, we see that. What is a lesson here for Capricorn? Perseverance. Mm -hmm. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yes, you can. Cappies are very patient and determined um, hard workers. So, energy oracle message. There's your opportunity. Woman holding a pentacle. Yeah, Let's see if anything comes out with her. Nope. Okay, so when one card comes out of this deck, the message is in the book. One moment, Capricorn. One moment. Okay, so when this card comes up, right, it could refer to you directly and a successful endeavor regarding your finances or your health. This could also signify a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She could give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman might be someone you meet where you make money or... It could be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance connected to a woman of wealth or business. That is the one that is offering you this opportunity. If you want your spirit animal, then we're going to get your potential outcome. Spirit animal for Capricorn. Turtle. Retreat. <laughs> okay. Stop trying to make something happen. Interesting. The turtle also represents emotions and obstacles. So, all right. And I feel like it's trying to convince people of your decisions. Be honest here, Capricorn. You can't always, um, well, you're not always going to disagree. Sometimes there's the energy of agreeing to disagree. Um, all right, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see where you are in a month. Oh, shiznick, the seven of wands is in reverse. There's the two of pentacles. What does it all mean? There's a nut. Oh, okay. I know what you've decided to do. I can see it here, but I also see how you're feeling here. All right, two more here, Cappy. Let's, yeah, there's that King of Wands just looking at you, watching you. One more. Hermit in reverse. Yeah. Okay, there's the Two of Wands and the Fool. Yeah, that's what I felt. So the thing is, whoever this masculine energy is, um, if it's not a masculine, it's Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, whoever this person is, is just looking at you. And that's what they're going to have to do. Um, you feel hurt and betrayed by this person, Cappy. You feel like you're attacked. You feel like you have to defend yourself. You feel like they're not in your corner. They're not supporting your decision here. And I feel like they're being quite vocal about it. Um, you know, this is feeling like you're attacked. This is feeling misunderstood, like you're a misfit. This person does not support your opinion. And they're clearly, or, or opinions, yeah, but I was going to say actions, but opinions came out. So they're not supporting your opinions at all. Um, and it clearly is affecting you. But the two of pentacles is the card in the middle, which means it's the card that's anchoring you in a month, which means... You're creating balance. Your ships are coming in. You're turning a negative into a positive. You're using your experience to get what you want, but you're in a peaceful place. You're looking forward, not back. This guy has his back to this king of wands. He can watch you, but you're going to do this no matter what this person says. They're going to have to accept your decision, um, but they're not making it easy on you. I keep going back to that energy. It's like they want you to be a dentist, but you're like, you know what? I want to be an actor, so I'm going to acting school. You got to follow your heart, follow your passion. Those are the people that are the happiest in life. The fool tells me you're taking the leap of faith. You're again, both these cards kind of have their back here to the king and he's just watching them. And they're just going to have to watch you do what you need to do to make yourself happy. And if they're in your corner, they will accept it in the long run. But in, in a month, you feel very attacked. Like you're always defending yourself. You, uh, you're, you're the wounded warrior. Um, but you're setting up your guard. You're setting up your boundaries. And you're not letting this person affect your decision because you made your choice and they have to accept it. But you definitely, they don't agree with it. <laughs> I can tell you that I felt it right away. Um, so Capricorn, that's what I have. That's what's up. That's what's going on. So if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support. And thank you for all of you who have bought my ebook and supported my ebook. I appreciate that as well. And it is still available. It'll be available forever, <laughs> but the link is down below for the ebook. So let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What is the answer for Capricorn? Yes. 
or no. All right, you ready, baby? Yes, that's what I have, Pappy. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.